We begin with news of a disturbing video published today of the final minutes of Andrew Holland's life. He's the Atascadero man who died in the San Luis Obispo County Jail in January 2017 after being tied to a chair for nearly two straight days. The video obtained by the Tribune purportedly shows Holland, a schizophrenic, harming himself, then being restrained naked in a chair for 46 hours before being let out and moved to another cell. Within minutes of being untied, Holland appears to lose consciousness and dies. The coroner said last year the 36-year-old died of natural causes due to intrapulmonary embolism or a blood clot. But medical research shows clots can be caused by prolonged sitting. In a press release the day after Holland's death, the sheriff's office wrote, Holland had been under the continual care of a physician. The video, edited from more than 100 hours of jail surveillance, according to the Tribune, does not appear to show that. It does show a correctional deputy smiling and laughing during parts of the ordeal. We have not obtained that full video. The county has not released it despite our public records request last July. And the Tribune's source is not known to us, so we have been unable to independently verify all that happened. But Holland's parents have seen it. And here's what they told us last April. It isn't believable unless you see it. And when you see it, at least for me, and I was watching my son die. I couldn't help but feel such terrible pain for the people doing it. Who does that? The county released this statement today saying, quote, the video footage is extremely painful to watch. What happened to Andrew Holland was a tragedy that impacts our entire community. Although we can't bring Andrew back, our county has made and continues to make changes in response to this terrible event, end quote. The changes relate to better care for people with mental illness. The jail has also gotten rid of its restraint chair. Last July, the county announced a $5 million settlement with the Hollands. They are now supporting political candidates looking to unseat the sheriff who runs the jail and the district attorney who to date has not filed charges related to Holland's death. We confirmed with the FBI today their investigation of possible civil rights violations at the jail is still ongoing. That investigation began after Holland's death. I did reach out to the Sheriff's Department for comment. Sheriff Parkinson is declining to comment at this time.